What internet marketing expert should you spend your valuable time listening to? Listen to someone who has over 20 years of web marketing experience and hundreds of website marketing success stories. That man is Aaron Sparks from Site Strategics. And this is Edge of the Web Radio. All righty. Hey, we got an article from Forbes by John Rampton. Um, we wanted to, uh, to to talk about, because a lot of times we go deep, deep tech, and, well, not all the time, but we do want to bring some really good information about certain certain aspects of social media or, or search engine marketing and what have you. I wanted to back up and give you some basic guidelines as you're starting a web business or you're starting uh, your company to explore its, its web space, right? You need to know what mistakes can be made to so you can avoid them and have a really good scenario to to roll out your your business online. So we are going to give you some mistakes that you can avoid. Rest assured that you you, you, you do need to have a full, fully functional site that's ready to handle all your online business, and these mistakes will 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 uh, help you get there. Number one, out of the gate, and Doug, you're going to love this. You if you have no business plan and no marketing strategy. Okay, unlike Field of Dreams, and if you build, he will come. And by he, we mean visitors to your website. Unfortunately, there is no way that's going to happen. You're not going to get visitors just because you build a website. You know, a lot of, a lot of users believe that they can purchase a domain and will instantly see traffic. And I know this is difficult, difficult to accept when you're relying on your website as your source of income. Before investing a large amount of time and money into a website, take a step back and construct a business plan and a marketing strategy. When we talk about a business plan, we're not talking about a lengthy, lengthy document, not like a regular business plan for your business. We're talking about what, oh, how, the, how your business needs to be translated yeah. online. So we're talking about what products or services are you selling. Yep. Itemize all that stuff out. Yeah. All right. What is your niche market and who is your target customer? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. What solution do customers, what customer problems, what solution to those problems are you offering? Okay. And you need to be explicit, not just uh, hypothetical, not just, you need to isolate these problems. In fact, that brings you into a great content strategy window. If you can isolate the problems per service that your customer, that you serve as a solution, yep. you have a great dialogue window for customers. You know, who are your competitors? Can you capitalize on their weaknesses where they're not? Yeah. You know, uh, and what will your online presence consist of? Are we talking just a website? We're we talking social media. We're talking a local environment, paid environment. Where you know what's what's it, what's it going to look like? And you certainly do need to investigate all of the different environments to be able to push your brand into. As far as as far as the marketing strategy, make sure that you, you have in place the following items. Now, these will assist you in generating website traffic and converting visitors into customers. One out of the gate, have an e-commerce analytics tracking system. Oh, yes. Not just e-commerce, but a tracking system of yeah. any kind. Yeah. Yes. Um, if yeah, you, you got to be able to measure success. And there's free ones out there. Yeah. Google Analytics, by far, is the best yep. one um, for the money. Uh, you know, they, <laughs> <laughs> there, there's others, but I mean, the, the fact of the matter, Google is 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 giving you a way to look at your own performance right. to be able to enhance. The customer performance because it's in their best interests to send their their customer the search traffic to a site that they can enjoy and, yep. and, and, mm-hmm. and experience. You know, you do need to understand the difference between SEO, search engine optimization, and PPC, which is pay per click campaigns or SEM, search engine marketing. Okay. You need need to know the difference. Uh, realizing the importance of social media platforms, you absolutely need to recognize. How that, how that ties into your consumer relations. Uh, reviewing research on affiliate marketing and considering to sell through established third-party platforms. These are things, obviously, from an e-commerce standpoint, you need to at least look at. You know, establishing a business plan and a marketing strategy may be, uh, may, may be hard and daunting work in the beginning, but both will guide you in setting up your website. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I you know uh there's what is that the benjamin franklin uh quote that if you fail to plan you're planning to fail (laughs) absolutely Um, that's on my 14 year old son's wall (laughs) it really is but it really is in in this case i think so many companies and even large clients um they say we need a new website 
but but they don't know you know we have we have we have one client that we are begging them to put up a new website mm -hmm. so they're saying okay let's design a new website and we're saying no that's not what we said we, we we said your current website is broken let's figure out what's working what's not working mm -hmm. and plan a new website right they think design that's all they're thinking is design. Right. We need a new layout. We need a new right. mm -hmm. interaction with our customers. And right. what we're saying is, no, we have to even look just at the analytics of the old site to see what's broken, what's yeah. working, what's not, so that we can design a site that is functional for for your clients. And mm -hmm. and this is the mistake that I think so many companies make is that I, I you know, you're probably the same as us, that, that we hate doing a project like uh, build this new website and you're done right like it's not done this is this is a that's game. not really the goal that you're after anyway. that's like building a building and then closing the door mm -hmm. and not going back to it and <laughs> expecting customers to shop there you know <laughs> and expecting a good reference from the yeah. client <laughs> right. six months later whenever they're it's going exactly well i thought this was going to be a success no no this is, yeah. the success is making that website yeah. work yeah and understanding it's, traffic patterns. It's your entire digital marketing strategy, yep. not just a website. The website is a gateway to, to, to everything. That's right. And it's a centerpiece. But but yeah, I love this. I, I think this is this is what's missing out there is everybody still thinks of a website as a brochure. And it's mm -hmm. not a brochure. It's a salesperson. That's right. Uh, another point, another mistake is underestimating the work involved. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You know, if you're setting up a website, as if, if you if you think that it's that setting up a website is a great way for gaining fast and easy money, you're sadly mistaken. There's actually more work involved than than simply taking an order and shipping a product. It's a process that demands your full attention, and will require a fair amount of trial and error. I I, I, I can't stress that that enough. I mean, it, even if you outsource some of the parts of your business, you still have to keep a watchful eye on the business structure. Uh, a third uh, point is choosing the wrong host or an e-commerce platform. In all honesty, I mean, there are a number of free hosts like Blogger and Weebly. So why pay for a host? Yeah. You know, if there's so many free options out there and, you know, there's, a, there's an advertisement that's getting a lot of attention right now. That's what was it? Uh, Wix.com or Wix? something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, you, you, you get what yeah you, know, you get what you pay for, guys. Yeah. and I tell you what, an investment of five to ten dollars a year uh, or a month, I'm sorry, to be able to get some additional functionality and deepen your the site availability. I mean, it's it's uh, it's v very very important well, to, to plan a company. Yeah, it's the same thing, right? I I can I I can afford a five dollar a month host, but I can't afford a hundred dollar a month host. Well. The difference between a five dollar and a hundred dollar is security issues and downtime Absolutely. and slowness and everything else. So, so the hundred dollar a month is going to make you thousands of dollars a month. The five dollar host is going to make you zero dollars a month. Right. Which Which one are you going to pick? Come mm -hmm. on. Yeah, that's know? right. That's yeah. right. A fourth point that I wanted to insert into this, and the article is great except for the fourth point because he started to diss uh, WordPress. It's like, yeah, back off. Oh right. uh, yeah. All right. The fourth point I wanted to actually inject into this was actually a threefer. That you're Ooh. not owning it. Okay, now check this out. Mistake number one, or I should say mistake A of this fourth point, not owning your domain name. Never, ever have any other consultant yes. register your domain name. You need to have full ownership of your domain. Mm -hmm. Your record, your company name needs to be that registrar. Take the time to register your own domain name. Number two, not o not owning the hosting. Like yep. a domain name, never allow another person, consultant, or company, or service provider, or even family member. I got a tear in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> to purchase the hosting for you. And yes. on top of that, you must have a content management system. Uh, it's, a, it's called CMS. It's a software that allows a website not be captive by a developer that doesn't allow you to access your content. Hey, and your CMS is only as good as the developers that design the theme in these right. plugins. Don't blame WordPress or Drupal or any of them. Blame the people that set it up to not mm -hmm. listen to you and not educate you on how to use it right. That's right. All right. So we're gonna the last mistake I wanted to cover, and quickly, Doug, is the lack of balance between design and message. Uh. You know, your design of the website should certainly be vi visually appealing, but you don't want people to leave your site screaming in horror. Yes. <laughs> and that's th and that's why simple is sometimes a lot better. Yes. That's right. 
what I think uh, I think too many people say, well, we need more information. We need more. No. no. Get them to pick up the phone. Get them to to contact you for more information. You know, right. let let your salespeople do what they're what they're great at doing. The site needs to be easy on the eyes, yeah. but it needs to convey the message you're trying to present. If you're getting in the way of your message from a design or some quirky thing that you really think should be there from yeah. from getting attention, uh, think again. Uh, may, your every great website may look outstanding, but as people continue to read the copy, it fades into the background. That's why a balance is, is a very big deal. You don't want the website's design to distract from the real reason that you've created the website. You know what? You know what I see a lot of people do that's a huge mistake is they think the website is for them instead of for their customers. Oh yeah, right. Yep. yep, yep. Content um, writing is, is the, I love the people that, and, and I'm, and uh, some people are going to take this personally, but I'm going to knock you is, well, I don't, I don't really like the way that that, you know, that's laid out. <laughs> it's not laid out for you. Nope. <laughs> and we haven't measured the effectiveness of it. So right. how are you making this judgment call on, you gut. know, on it, yeah. you know, because that their particular, uh, uh, perspective, perception of what they like exactly is actually trumping more conventional design con- knowledge that exactly. the web developer knows. Yeah, web web designers are very well versed at understanding what works, what doesn't work, you know, everything mm-hmm. else. And and of course you want to be proud of your website, but you don't want to be nitpicking it to death before it's ever launched no. and before you're measuring the effect. Let it go and breathe and yeah. then you get data. Just like yeah. recon. I mean, let's let's let, let the user show you what they want you to do right. with the site. 